All about Symbian and mobile industry review. I'm James Ailey. I uh, work as a technology specialist at the Symbian Foundation in the technology management team. Uh, I specialize in um, productivity and um, the, the web uh, area. So we, we work with uh, contacts and calendaring, email, messaging, uh, that kind of technology. I previously worked as a software engineer with uh, Nokia and Symbian Limited beforehand. It's a, um, well, a framework for uh, developers to, uh, application developers to kind of use social networking services and content in a more genericized way such that they don't actually need to always know what the service is that they're using at the remote end. They just want to say, hey, give me a list of friends, give me a list of, um, or well, give me some messaging services, for instance, uh, tell me what's in a particular inbox or messaging service, um, list me some, some pictures from a gallery, these, these kind of things that are common with social networking applications, um, but usually are tied to a particular service. Um, so on the, on the application developer side, you've got um, a set of generic interfaces that we will define and review with the community and it's going on right now. Um, and then on the other side is the opportunity for service providers, enthusiasts, absolutely anybody really to, uh, to develop a small piece of code, a plugin um, that sits in the framework and connects those generic interfaces or the ones that are appropriate for a particular service to the actual service itself via web technology such as REST, XML, RPC, SOAP, whatever's appropriate for that service. If, if right now you wanted to add, say, Twitter support to um, an application, let's say uh, Mobler, uh, we were just talking about, if you wanted to make it so that you could send um, your current listening to track to, to Twitter, something like that, um, you would need to know how Twitter works. Uh, you would need to look at the Twitter service API and you would need to do all of the kind of HTTP requests and everything in your own application code. And what we're looking for is uh, an API where somebody can say, hey, I've just got this interesting piece of information, send it out to social networks. And um, the user's pre-configured, I have a, a Last.fm account, I have a Twitter account, I have a Facebook account, etc. Uh, it would just be broadcasted where appropriate. It, it is an advantage of being open in that we can kind of power this connection side with the community. So um, it, it might be in a, a, a service provider's interest to actually provide this plugin and get it into the platform so that their service is better integrated into all of our native applications. Yep, that's right. So um, originally uh, we, we put an idea up on our ideas website. I just made a suggestion thinking, hey, it would be nice if um, all of the standard applications on the phone knew how to interact with social networks and there wasn't a, always a need to download a separate application for each one. So no need particularly for a Facebook application. You might still want one, but no need to do it just to do the most basic of tasks. Um, and then again with Twitter and with Last.fm and with everything else, um, it would be nice to just kind of have a level of support in the platform such that you can just send the updates directly from the application and use the content that's on the service. Um, so that was published on the Symbian Ideas website uh, and Saskin, a professional services company, have um, stepped forward with an interest in implementing it. Uh, they put together a proposal and sent it to our council and it was um, it's going through that, that process now, but in the meantime we've got an architecture together, we've got a proposal being reviewed by um, our relevant package owners and uh, the technical specialists without, throughout the community, other developers are invited to, to come and get involved. So uh, on our developer wiki page we've got a home page for the social mobile framework. Uh, you can uh, just log in and, and check out the, the resources that are there, there's the architecture document, we've got a mailing list, um, there's a forum, um, there's, there's quite good discussion going on around that. So yeah, I mean one of the significant things about um, this project is that it's going to be developed completely in the open, um, it will be open source from day one. Uh, and therefore an application developer can access the code and, and try out their application uh, with the new features and make sure that they're, that they're using it appropriately you know, and, and never be um, caught by surprise by big changes or anything like that. Um, and of course, it, if the resources are available for the, um, it, within their own application, you know, uh, they, can, they can just package the framework and use it at any time they want, as long as Qt's there as well, so that could later be installed. 
Um, so yeah, it, it could theoretically be, be used at any point from you know when the code's available in the, the repositories. Um, but it will be in the Symbian platform as a standard API um, in Symbian 4, with, if everything goes through, fine. It is uh, very exciting. I, I'm, I'm great. That, uh, I'm really glad that uh, things are going this way um, because it, you know, it's, it's a really good way to work. It's, it's nice to have application developers engaged. It's good to have the relevant specialists working on the relevant parts of the project, getting the, uh, the network, uh, social network providers, kind of looking at the interface specifications early so that they can review it and make sure that it's going to work. You know, that we end up with a good product. And they can even provide the plugins so they, they know their technology appropriately. The application developers can take a look at the, the framework and say, hey, it's, gonna, it's not going to do everything that we need. Can you add this? Can you take this out? Can you change that? I think it, it will end up kind of creating a much better product than we're used to seeing. Well, um, I guess uh, I'm, I'm most excited about just sort of uh, getting that Symbian 4 phone out of the box and being able to just log into those services straight away and have all of my applications <laughs> using them uh, immediately better so that I can see, you know, that the platform is integrated into social networks in a way that we haven't seen yet. Stay tuned for more at All About Symbian at Mobile Industry Review.